okay we have to give the mechanism for the following reaction so this is 8.41 so this says if I have something like this alkene and then here I have a double bond and then this methyl group if I trade with H2SO4 and the final product we are getting so this is H2SO4 so final product I am getting is something like this here I have OSO3H so you have to give the mechanism you see uh, in this case OSO3H is acting as a nucleophile and H plus is acting as electrophile so if you see what are the changes that has taken plus you have you have added H plus here and you have added H OSO3H here so H plus is acting as electrophile and OSO3H minus that is HSO4 minus this is same as HSO4 minus is acting as a nucleophile so this is your electrophile and this is your nucleophile are you getting and then you have to write down the product in this case so what will happen now so product is going to have to write the mechanism in this case so how will you do this one easy one now first step is H plus attack so if you attack one H plus molecule so let us say I have CH3 here so let us put ME so that we don't have so confusion so if I add H plus this takes H plus now can I generate carbocation here or can I generate carbocation here this carbocation is tertiary so this will be more stable so I can generate a carbocation here now ME and hydrogen is attached here I have already one hydrogen in the beginning so let us put one more hydrogen are you getting or not and the next step I need electrophile nucleophile SO3H so if you see a structure of OH SO3H minus so this is your SO3H so two electron here you have two electron here two. so this is your HSO4 minus you are getting or not so this now can attack here if it is if it does something like this you will get the desired product are you getting or not so this is here you will have ME and here you will have OSO3H OSO3H are you getting or not so this is simple one I think all of you can do this one now next one so let us copy this one first and then I have to go for the next reaction I think you have copied this one <coughs> if you have copied this one let us write down the mechanism for this reaction so you have so this is this is alkene and if I treat this alkene with bromine Br2 and solution also contains LiCl in CCl4 so if I treat this in LiCl in CCl4 I know not CCl4 CH3OH so if I treat with LiCl in CH3OH so solvent is CH3OH CH3OH is the solvent the final product we are getting is so there are three product I am getting so let us copy this one in one product here I have Br and here I have OCS3 this is one product next product I have Br and then I have Cl in one product I have Br, Br so you have to propose the mechanism so simple are you getting or not if you see the product in all cases bromine is attached so now one thing is clear the first step the attack of Br plus is there now next step in one case you have OCS3 attached Cl attached Br attached so nucleophile changes in the next step you see nucleophile Cl minus can also act as a nucleophile O lone pair of oxygen can also act as a nucleophile or simply Br minus can act as a nucleophile that is the that's why we are getting the three product so Cl minus can act as a nucleophile CH3OH can act as a nucleophile or Br minus can act as a nucleophile so I can show the mechanism something like this so first step is simply this Br Br you can show these electrons so this comes here and this lone pair goes here so let us say and this bromine goes here so you will have Br minus so after this step you will have something like this bromine with a plus charge are you getting plus Br minus are you getting now nucleophile is so if you have different different nucleophile I am writing the same thing once again here so you see 
so let us put br and br here so plus now if we have nucleophile cl minus you can have a nucleophile br minus so there are many nucleophile and you can also have ocs3 minus oh ocs3 so lone pair can act as a nucleophile so if this attacks this opens let us call this path a if this attacks let us call this path p and the next case if this attacks let us call path c in this case if this attacks then i have to lose h plus also i will get the three product a b c in one case cl will attach here in other case br will be attached here in next case you will have ocs3 that is attached are getting that you have to uh, write down the product so you see in one case br will come here in the a so if you write a i will have to have cl here if we if i write b i will have br here but i will have br here also so this is my b path b if i follow path c i will have br here but i will have ocs3 here are you getting so we are getting all the three product so this is because nucleophile can change this reaction you see in this case there are three kind of nucleophile that is present and that's why we are getting mixture of product you have to show me the mechanism and that's why we have followed this kind of path we'll discuss the next reaction next reaction we'll just copy this one i think all of you have copied this one fairly easy things nothing new simply formation of a cyclic halonium ion are you getting or not and then attack of a nucleophile so so simple you can copy this one and then we'll go for the next reaction i think i 